Planning and zoning is now in session. I need to make an announcement before we get started. Uh, for the ones that are here, this Friday, April the 24th, the Metro Planning staff will host a council member only briefing on Nashville Next. The event will be from 12.30 to 2 o'clock at the Sunny West Conference Center, and lunch will be provided. Planning staff will discuss the draft National Next document, which is now available for review at www.nationalnext.net, at public libraries, and at community meetings tonight and next Monday night. Remember that National Next is updating the 14 community plans to align with the growth and preservation concept maps. Join us on Friday to hear about the draft plans and have your questions ready. If you're going, please RSVP to Kelly Adams at 615-862-7171. If any questions, you can see me after the meeting. The first order of business is a resolution by Primal Hunt and Western Home, a resolution accepting a grant from MDHA to Metro acting by and through the Metro MHC to perform Section 106 environmental review necessary for the development proposals using federal funds to determine potential adverse effects to historic properties. And I do have a letter to approve. Are there a motion? Is there a motion? Second. All in favor? The next item is RS 2015 14, 1461, a resolution by Council Lady Gilmore. It's a resolution authorized French shoes and boots to construct and install an area encroachments at 126 First Avenue North. Is there a motion? Second. Comments or questions? All in favor? Fourteen sixty one is adopted. The next item is BL. That one we already took care of. Have. Yes, that was the one. Okay, so that's approved. I'll just. The next item is BL twenty fifteen ten six to eight. The council member, member Allen, an ordinance to amend the GI. I.S. Street and Alley Center Line layer for Metro by abandoning a portion of Alley Number 922 right away and easement. Is there a motion? I have a letter to approve anyway. Sec second? Comments or questions? All in favor? 1068 is adopted. Next item is BL 1069. The council member is Todd. Is anybody carrying that for him? No, he don't have any co-sponsors. No letter. Let's see. Let me check and see. Pride more. Hang on. Primo. Nope. Got a motion. Yes. Council Lady Langston. Please excuse this, sir, but have you gotten to uh, 1050, 1075? Uh, Did I miss that? No, I haven't gotten that yet. All right, thank you. Okay. Okay, we're going to move BL 1069 to the hill. Next item is BL 2015-1070, also by Todd, and he's not here, so we have a motion to move it to the Hill. Second. 
It is moved to the hill. The next item is 2015-1071. The by Council Lady Gilmore and honest authorizing fountains of Germantown Holdings to construct and install structural and aerial encroachments at 10 at 1401, 1403, 3rd Avenue North, and 1408 and 1410, 4th Avenue North, and 302 Taylor Street. Is there a motion? No. Comments or questions? All in favor? 1071 is adopted. The next item is Bill 2015-1072, the author Lady Gilmore, an author authorizing Gulch Hotel to install, construct, and maintain an area and underground encroachments into the public right-of-way for an interest canopy and an electrified signage and for irrigation lines to serve tree pits and plantings along 11th Avenue South and 12th Avenue South and Pine Street. Ooh, that's a mouthful. Is there a motion? Mm -hmm. Comments, or qu comments or questions? All in favor? 1072 is adopted. The next item is Bill 2015-1073. Pride Moore, Anthony Davis, and Hunt, an authorized, uh, ordinance authorizing Metro to negotiate and accept permanent and temporary easements for the Bixler Avenue Stormwater Improvement Project for nine properties located at, along Bixler and Delaware Avenues. Have a letter to approve. Is there a motion? Comments or questions? All in favor? 1073 is adopted. The next item is Bill 2015 1074. Bennett, Anthony Davis, and Hunt. This is an ordinance authorizing Metro to negotiate and accept permanent and temporary easement for the Ben Allen Road Stormwater Improvement Project for 17 properties located along Hart Lane, Hudson Avenue, and Ben Allen Road. Got a letter to approve, but there is there a motion. No. Comments or questions? Seeing none, 1074 is approved. Hmm. Oh, I'm sorry. All in favor? Opposed? 1074 is approved. The next item is Bill 2015-1075, Langster, Davis, and Hunt. This is an ordinance authorizing Metro to abandon approximately 160 linear feet of an 8-inch sanitary sewer main and easement and to construct approximately 231 linear feet of an 8-inch PVC sewer main for properties located at 520, 26th Avenue North and 26th Avenue North unnumbered. Is there a motion? Comment or questions? All in favor? Opposed? 1075 is approved. You're welcome. And Mr. Tenpenny is here. Hello, welcome, good evening, good afternoon. The next item is Bill 2015-1043. We do have a letter from Council Lady Moore, and it's an ordinance to amend the Hillsborough Village Urban Design Overlay to add a parcel and create Subdistrict 1D. Is there a motion? Come Comments or questions? All in favor? Opposed? 1043 is adopted. The next item is Council Lady Moore, 2015-1044. An ordinance to change from RM40 to MUL zoning for property located at 2024 Blakemore Avenue. Is there I have a letter. Is there a motion? 
Second. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? 1044 is approved. The next item is Bill 2015-1045. The author is Duvall, an ordinance to change from AR2A to IWD zoning for properties located at 12872 O'Hickey Boulevard. Is there a motion? Comments or questions? Seeing none, all in favor? Opposed? 1045 is approved. The next item is Bill 2015-1046 by Councilor Bennett, an ordinance to change from RS-10 to SP zoning for properties located at 204 Ben Allen Road to permit up to 17 dwelling units. And where did she go? Oh, I have a letter here. 1047. Is there a motion? All in favor? Comments or questions? I mean, I'm sorry. Opposed? 1046 is approved. The next item is 2015 1047. This is by Council Lady Moore, an ordinance to change from R6 to SP zoning for property located at Wedgwood Avenue, unnumbered to permit a mixed use development. I have a letter for approval. Is there a motion? Comments or questions? All in favor? Aye. Opposed? 1047 is approved. The next item is 10, 2015-1048. Council Lady Gilmore, uh, an ordinance to change from CSMUL OR20 RM40 and R6 zoning to DTC zoning for various properties located west of Rosa Park Boulevard and north of Jefferson Street to update associated maps within Chapter 17.37 of the Zoning Code. Is there a motion? No. Comments or questions? Seeing none, all in favor? Aye. Opposed? 1048 is approved. The next item is 2015 1049, Councilman Holloman, an ordinance to make applicable the provision of the UDO for properties located east of Bowling Avenue along Valley Vista Road, Bellwood Avenue, and Saratoga Drive Zone RS 7.5 and R8. Is there a motion? Second. Comments or question? Seeing none, all in favor? Opposed? Okay. <coughs> the next item is Bill 2015 1060 by Councilman Westerholm in order to change from RS5 to SP zoning for properties located at 1201. 1203 and 1205 Division Street to permit up to six detached residential dwelling units. Is there a motion? Second. Second. Comments or questions? Seeing none, all in favor? Opposed? 1050 is approved. The next item is 2015 1051. Council Lady Moore, and we do have a letter for her. And it's an ordinance to change from R6 to SP zoning for properties located at various parcels on 3rd Avenue South to permit up to 54 residential units, 1,900 square feet of residential retail space, and 10 units totaling 7,000 square feet of live work units. Is there a motion? Second. Comments or questions? Seeing none. 1051 is adopted. I'm sorry. All in favor? Opposed? Now 1051 is adopted. The next item is 1052. The 
Arthur is Stanley, and I don't believe we have a letter. Is there a motion to roll it to the hill? Second. Is there a second? All in favor? Opposed? It's gone to the hill. The next item is BL 2015-1054, Councilman Harrison, an ordinance to change from IWD to MUG zoning for properties located at 100 Cumberland Bend. Is there a motion? Comments or questions? All in favor? Opposed? 1054 is approved. The next item is BL 2015-1055, Scott Davis, an ordinance amending Chapter 17.8 and 1716 of the Metropolitan Code Zoning Regulations to, des to designate commercial amusement as a use permitted with conditions and adding condition applicable to such land usage. Is there a motion? Second or comments? Second? Comments? All in favor? 1055 is a. Excuse me? No vote? Okay. Opposed one and the rest is approved. Okay. Do you have a comment? Push your button. Chief, was this 1055? I'm sorry, uh, could I ask a quick question? Yes. On that? Uh, I guess this question would probably be directed to planning. Um, and could you just give us an overview of the conversation? I noticed that the commission did not recommend approval of this. And can you walk us through what the pros and cons of, of this, rather than doing a, a zone change versus a text change to the entire area? Could you just walk us through that? You're that referring to Bill 1049? Uh, 1055. 1055. Okay. Oh, sorry. Okay. Sure. There is there's for this specific text amendment there were two issues that planning staff had and recommended to the commission. The commission ultimately disapproved the the text amendment request. The first issue is that the text amendment is limited geographically, which really makes it more akin to a rezoning and should be using the rezoning process. There is actually another bill that is um, a rezoning bill for the property that wants to do commercial amusement outside and outdoor in this area. So that was the first issue that we felt the rezoning process was more appropriate than the text amendment process. The second issue is that um, commercial amusement right now is currently permitted with conditions in a variety of districts. It's a special exception in the lesser of the two industrial districts, which means that it would have notices sent and have to go to the BZA for approval. This is the most intense industrial district and then and it's making the use of permitted with conditions use which means that you could have people gathering large amounts of people gathering near areas that are more heavily industrial and have hazardous uses or materials on their site thank you and and just to clarify so areas along the riverfront I know that councilman Davis and I both have a number of those as well as councilman Gilmore and others and looking at the National Next process where mixed use is envisioned for these areas, is there an argument to be, to be had that suggests a policy is, amendment would be advantageous over a parcel by parcel zone change? Well, 
I'm sorry. Sure. This text amendment actually would still permit the industrial uses. So there is a zone change application that would take this property and make it compliant with the land use policy, which is an urban mixed use environment that would also then not allow the more hazardous, intense industrial districts, which is it, which does not comply with policy. So, Mr. Chair, if I may ask a question of the sponsor, or just sure. Just, uh, just to address the question, it sounds like the, it's, a, it's a matter of do we want to encourage, use one tool by admitting the policy to allow things that are not allowed there now, or do a more of a uh, process where we change the zoning of parcels that would exclude, I would only permit the mixed use, which is what everyone wants, but exclude future industrial uses. I guess is the, is the issue, you want to allow things to happen now, but then not worry, or I guess the, the danger is that you would leave the door open for other industrial uses. I just want to hear your thoughts on, on what you came about with these. The bill addresses uh, a multiple group of properties along this area, not just one particular parcel, but many. Um, Nashville is growing. We've been getting a lot of interest for other forms of commercial amusement. Um, movie theaters and other sides, arcades and things of this nature along this area. Um, one thing which is not in my, my neighborhood, but is in Councilman Westerholm's neighborhood, is you know the, um, the big elephant or gorilla in the room, PSC Metal site. And this will give an option because a couple years ago I know that um, Dollywood was looking at a site here in Nashville uh, for an expansion. Um, for whatever, whatever reason, that didn't happen. But this leaves other potential sites like PSC Metals and like other higher industrial uses along the riverfront. In my district, personally, my highest use is a um, is a is a plant that uses a lot of sand, and and the the heavy industrial uses in this area right now are not posing a direct danger to our drinking source, the Cumberland River. And so there's no explosives or anything that could potential. The most dangerous thing to people gathering along the river is the river itself right now. And due to potential flooding that happened in May, but as we see, there's a lot of development along Riverfront. Um, we have a Riverfront concert series at the new um, audit Riverfront Auditorium that we're having. And the biggest danger is the river itself, and large numbers of people are congregating, and also it gives options to business owners. Because let's just say, you know, let's say we want to put a place to ride go karts there on the riverfront. However, though, next it, five years from now, when the um, big boom is over, it's like, okay, can I go back to my original warehouse use? And it may not be no, it may be no because then the neighborhood may have changed a little bit and then that business won't be allowed. I'm not trying to get rid of any kind of large-scale industrial, particularly, but I'm wanting additional options for these industrial businesses along just the riverfront. Because some of you know that you've heard me talk about channel side and other types of entertainment. And as far as job creation for young people, entertainment jobs are what a lot of kids get right out of college. The putt-putt golf, Mr. My colleague was his first job as a teenager. Um, Councilman Lionel Matthews' first job was at a movie theater. And a lot of us were waitresses and waiters. You know, a lot of these entry level jobs that's a focus in a lot of our communities for our young folks. So I am asking for approval um, on this, and I'd like to move. Thank you, Chair. Are there any more comments or questions? Okay, we've already approved it. Yes, Councilman Claiborne. Let's go next. Which one? Yeah, yeah, I just wanted to go back and and uh, ask planning one more time to clarify that there is perhaps another path to accomplish what the councilman is trying to do, rather than the present effort. 
Sure, I think that would be the rezoning process. The policy on these properties is a mixed-use policy. It would support a rezoning to a mixed-use district that would allow not only um, the commercial amusement, but also a variety of other redevelopment potential, like residential uses, um, other commercial uses, uh, but it would also exclude the heavier industrial uses. IG is actually the only district in our zoning code that permits heavy manufacturing, which includes <coughs> things like um, refining, smelting, metal ore production, um, petroleum refining um, phase. So that is, that is our most intense use in our most intense district where under the proposed use you would have people gathering. Any other questions? Councilman Clayman, you abstain on which bill? I voted no. On that bill? Yes. What's that number? 55. Oh, okay. But any other question, question or comments? Gilmore, okay. Let's see you there. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I would just like to uh, let Councilman Davis speak once again. I think he's clear about the two different zonings, but you're just saying in case something happens. What I hear you saying is if the economy were to go bad again, you would prefer not to use the zoning me method and just use a text amendment so some of those uses could still exist if those people need to fall back on that. Is that correct? Hello? Um, thank you. That is that is correct, but also this this text is limited to a riverfront. Uh, uh, many of those high-low industrial uses aren't being used currently on the riverfront parcel. However, though, it allows that company to have that insurance that hey, if I allow this venue or this or this large entertainment complex of any type to to do you lease this space that we're going to be able to um, in the future go back to a um, a warehouse or to whatever we were doing before you know you know it, it just it protects the business owner's investment in that property because once again IWG land is difficult to come by but at the same time the li the uses are limited because of the proximity to water also okay since we've already voted to approve this just approved um, that ends the discussion on that particular bill seeing no other comments or interest this meeting is adjourned yep Hold on. Did you get a letter from Councilmember Todd? You want to turn your light on? Go ahead. I'm sorry. Oh, I think Councilmember Todd was working on a letter. Did that ever appear? Oh yeah, I did. I, I I'm got. This. You're bringing that one back. We'll go run that through. I got a letter from Councilman Todd, and thank you, Council Lady Allen. Um, 1069 is an ordinance to amend GIS Street and Alex Centerline layout for Metro by Benton Nina portion our fourth place right away. Is there a motion? So moved. Second. 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 Questions or comments? All in favor? 1069 is adopted. And that brings us to Bill 1070, uh, an ordinance to amend GIS Street and Alice Centerline layout for Metro by abandoning a portion of Franklin Pike, Circle right away, and Eastman. Is there a motion? I'll move. Comments or question? Okay. CN 91070 is approved. With no other business, this meeting is adjourned. Rick, got nothing? Quick question. What, you got a question? Uh, did 1032 have an amendment? 1032 had an amendment. Okay. Yeah, I, I have, okay. Let me see. Okay. Okay. 1052. Stanley, we voted to. Yeah. 
Okay. Before we leave, we got Bill 1054, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, 1052. Uh, we're going to defer to the next meeting. What is 1052? 1052. Stanley is not here. It's an ordinance to change from CL to CS zoning for properties located at 56, 5762 O'Hickory Boulevard. Okay, move to, uh, move to defer by rule. Move to defer by rule. Is there a motion? Okay. I mean, second. second. Comments or questions? Uh, 1052 is deferred by rule. Okay, seeing all the business, we adjourn. All right, great. Thank you.